Singapore, here we go. I combined my two days trip into one video. Hope you guys like it. There's gonna be a lot of footage from my Insta360 X4. If you like it, uh, check it out in the link. Awesome item. Got it. This is the airport at 1 a.m. Now, what am I doing in the airport at 1 a.m.? Impromptu trip to Singapore. Um, not going to Shenzhen, but it looks like I'm going to Shenzhen. I'm traveling so light right now. Um, completely spontaneous. Um, just thought, mm, why not, right? Oh, I think American Express users can use this one. Um, it kind of sucks, but a hey, great place to rest your legs. Gonna make my own London fog. Give me that hot milk. Woof, love it. Okay, is it me or does it look like just better than prison food? It's pretty much contactless now. So don't have to pull the camera, thank thing. you. Yep. Okay, not the best choice on red-eye flights. I'm so sleepy right now. Uh, super early, ah. Okay, I went into the wrong building. Um, obviously, there's a, another hotel that has like a similar name. So this is um, Singapore at like six in the morning. This place is um, pretty nice and also, um, you know, typical Singapore, very clean. And I'm in the middle of the road. Why am I in the middle of the road? Okay, um, yeah, so I'm in the middle of the road. So the driver scooped me. Um, now I'm at the right hotel. Okay, this is more like it. The other one was like super shady, super shady. I was like, excuse the other one, I think it was like a lover's motel. Anyway, I'm gonna check in. Oh, I can't check in yet. I can't believe the hotel is awful. I don't know what's open. Um, there's nothing, so I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. Wow, so early. Uh, people are even jogging. Uh, this is way too healthy for me. Oh my God. This guy doesn't belong here. Okay, this guy belongs like here. Okay, this is where you belong. Oops, sorry, oops. Okay, he's gonna be good. Gonna get some brekkie. It's super early. I don't know if it's me or is this dog like really, really chill? Good job. All right, there's more snails, so you know what I'm gonna do. All right, back, 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 you go. Back, you go. To the moist spot. This is me after like two and a half hours of sleep. Anyway, going to this place is called Wild Honey. One of the coolest places ever. Pretty rad, me. Red. Oh my god, I haven't used that word for so many years. Okay. Oh. Mm. Mm. Sir, you're dripping milk. Oh, it, the milk is actually hot. It is. That's the point. It's going to melt the, uh, the ice cubes. You've got to stir it. Mmm. Yeah. I am right now on Orchard Road, which I always pronounce as Orchid Road. It's Orchard, so is their shopping cool district where it's like the center of attention. Did I say center of attention? I meant center of action. 
Yes. Oh, look at puppets. There's a horse. It feels more dry here than it is in Hong Kong, although it is just as hot. No wonder why it's 31 degrees, feels like 36, but the humidity is only 70%. That's why it feels so much better. And the air quality is really good. Ah, okay, I picked the right place. And of course, Singapore is a lot more um, spacious. Mm. So you don't feel that everything is cramped, although um, it's about what two thirds the size of Hong Kong with about two thirds of our population or three quarters of our population. Um, it feels a lot more spacious here for some reason and less so a vertical city compared to Hong Kong. I mean, they are, but they are, they still have their space. And whereas I can't help but to notice there's Heidi Lao. They are everywhere right now. As I say, this is the Orchard Road, right? So where people shop and stuff. And I love the East meets West element of Singapore a lot. Look at this place, it's called Tang. It must be some sort of restaurant or department store. I don't know, but it looks really cool. It's like a palace. No, you guys are not scared of people at all. That tells you about how safe Singapore is overall. Look at that. Hello. This is called the Shaw House and the logo looks really familiar. Siu Si Shaw House uh, movie, like company, Siu Si Pincha. And there's Wheelock Place, which in Hong Kong, that's also some tycoon's family. I think it's got to be the same guys, right? These rich people are everywhere. If anything, in Singapore, you smell money everywhere you go. Money, 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 money. And it's also very clean. If it's not clean, it's not Singapore. If it's not proper, it's not Singapore. If it's not decent, if it's not organized, if it's not uh, freakish, freakish, freakishly clean and um, com uh, law abidant, law compliant, law abidant, it's not Singapore. Um, so if you want to be in a place where it's safe and you don't have to worry about a lot and you can be a dumb tourist and just wing your phone and your, your stuff, leave your laptops around, and don't not expect them to get stolen. Yeah, I think Singapore is probably one of those places. National language, English, so not like Hong Kong, uh, things aren't bilingual here. I don't know if you noticed, but the gas stations actually feel like Canada here. This is an area where I saw a lot of very multicultural stuff. Okay, there's Tu Chao, Tiu Zhao. There's Hong Kong style stuff. Followed by a Mongolian. Hainanese chicken, and at the back I see Indian stuff. Oh, there's Singapore tea with their signature, the mer lion, the mermaid lion. Wow, that's that's a really hefty find. A thousand Sing dollars? That's like a thousand Canadian dollars, roughly, for not cleaning out after your pets. Woof! No wonder why Singapore is like so clean. Hmm. It's a fine city. That's what they said. The first time I came to Singapore, uh, some of you told me uh, Singapore is a fine city because they find you left and right. Instead of going urban exploration, instead of going shopping, whatever, 
I decided to go to this actually pretty cool residential neighborhood um, and I'm getting a massage. Yeah, I'm really sleep deprived. Actually, I can use a massage, although it is kind of weird that people go to Singapore for a massage, but hey, that's the whole point of traveling, right? Why not? I'm just really impressed that the rivers here don't smell at all. Mm. Shame on you, Hong Kong. Shame on you. Mm, so this is a member's lounge called Club 1880. Very posh. Very posh, by the way. Can't help but to notice that when I first came in. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, no, you're good. I, I'm, I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. What do you mean? I'm not good. I'm great. Biatch. I'm just kidding. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm just going to jack one of these. Wow, bling bling guitars. Is it me or do all clubs, private clubs, nightclubs, whatever clubs, they're always so dark, so dark. I question my eyesight. Wow, and this bathroom, huh? I feel like I'm drunk already. So, so many things happening. Wow, okay, anyways. Why am I showing you the bathroom? Compared to Hong Kong, people here actually sit on the toilet as opposed to squatting and then just splashing everywhere, so. Good job, Singapore. These things are designed to, for people to sit on, not to squat over and have pee all over the place. Shame on you, Hong Kongers. Pretty posh little place, huh? Is that, is that the Dalai Lama? Yeah, right? Good choice. I feel smarter looking at books that says random words. I wonder if there's anything in there. Anyways, I feel smarter. Time to relax. Well deserved. I so need a massage. <laughs> okay, back into civilization where I keep seeing these birds. <laughs> Just fed this guy a chunk of watermelon because he's coming into the buffet to take people's food. Smart dude. Smart dude be seen as like littering and I made sure they ate everything um, just in case there's any left behind it. I can clean it up after them, but no food was wasted. You know, in this trip, I don't see any cats, but these birds are just everywhere along with their pigeon friends. Um, I'm sure some locals probably see them as a pest because you know, if they eat around you, then chances are they might poop around you. But as a tourist and somebody who likes animals, I just find this totally fascinating. I was told these are magpies. Magpies? Yeah. Sign of cats. However, I did come across a thing of chickens, daddy, mummy, and the grown-up kiddos um, in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it's not very common because I even asked the locals. I'm like, hey, do you guys have what wild chickens roaming around in the middle of the city? And they said, nope. But I must admit, daddy's very good looking, and uh, nope, mo. Mummy wasn't too happy about that. Sorry, sorry, I wasn't trying to steal your man there. Just complimenting. Relax.
found this place that is called the something key. I can't remember, but we're gonna find out. Clark Key, that's it. So this is where all the restaurants are, where also a lot of actions are. It's right by the river. I'm not sure if bikes are actually allowed, but I'm just gonna assume that it's allowed until I get kicked out. I love the view, by the way. Great for daytime, great for nighttime. Sorry. I think this is a tourist area. Oops, sorry, I almost hit that guy. Um, but yeah, there's not that many places to go to in Singapore. I mean, it's, it's the same places over and over again, but surprisingly, oh boy, screaming children. I, here, I didn't go to this place. There's a marketplace in here that sells local stuff, like handcraft stuff that you can check it out. Um, but I'm not gonna get too much into the restaurants because you know how I am with food and stuff. Um, not exactly the best foodie. It's too hot. I don't really have an appetite. I just have an appetite for scenery and you know, visual stimulation, I guess. Hope you guys are enjoying this trip so far because I am. I really recommend it, though I am Love still it. just trying to learn how to use all of its features. But um, yeah, the basics are already pretty fun and compelling enough enough to excite me let's just say I love how I'm strolling on a bike so I don't have to walk all of this being the impatient person that I am let's take a look here let's see what's going on That. Mm, yeah, it's nighttime already. Um, let's just say I spent a fair bit of time here and had some quality time with the scenery and everything. Okay, we can relax. This is not a crocodile. Instead, it's a giant water monitor lizard. Mm, it's a lizard. It's actually afraid of people and it's not that big. our patreon it means a lot to small creators like us and it can keep our channel alive thanks meow you see the vending machine is selling like alligators and stuff and pandas okay i'm going to the night safari with this really wet hair so it's supposed to be very famous I'm gonna have a blast so three places in one i'm just gonna check out the safari today All right, so the amphitheater is here, safari trails, tram station. Oh, it's quite a big place. Ooh, fishing cat trail. Okay, there's not a whole lot of people yet, so take the line out for the tram, and, and then we'll do the walking trail. Because it, walking trail takes about an hour and a half. This takes about half an hour. Oh, here comes the tram. So I think we're supposed to board this one? No. Oh, it's unmanned. There's no pilot. Oh, there is. Okay, never mind. Wait, did I just say pilot? I meant driver. Well, there we are, coming up. Okay, so the airplanes is the 
3.5 mm jack. So this guy helps take photos and it's really great. He tells you like how to pose too. It's awesome. Okay, just waiting for this to start. I, this is the first time I'm going to like a night zoo safari. So I don't know because there's no doors. So uh, yeah, I guess the animals are caged or they're in a distance. I don't know how it works. It's gonna be really fun. Oh my God, it's so dark. You can't see anything. How can you actually see anything? Oh my gosh. Take a deep breath, everyone. After the mating season, he enters. The role of the male is to protect the territory so the females can hunt in peace. After the hunt, the males will have a small first. The tigers are known to kill healthy adult slugs. Wow, that was great. Although I wish that I have the eyesight of an 18 year old because I think my night vision is not that good. Um, so my sage advice to you is if you want to see the night safari and be able to see clearly, um, yeah, I come at a younger age. Wow, even the food here is pretty darn legit. And the prices are actually not bad. Hmm. All right, fishing cat trail. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, wait, that's not a meow. Supposedly this takes like, what, like an hour and a half, but with my Hong Kong speed, I think I could KO it in an hour. Okay, so these are the meows that we're gonna see. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, I mean, can I pet them? I got meat tubes in the bag, by the way. No, I'm not gonna feed them, but I'm just saying. A man wolf. Actually, that guy's at the back right there. He's right there. It's like a dog. Southern Three Banded Armadillo. Oh, hello. Let's see where these guys are. They're hiding here somewhere. Oh, it's probably. Oh, it's a walk. Oh, it's a It's like a, it's like a giant ball, you guys. Would you like some meat tubes? Okay, more urban exploration like nighttime hiking. I'm very amazed that there's not a lot of mosquitoes, if any, because I attract those, yeah, big time. Oh, just follow what the people are looking at. Let's see what we got here. Hey, what we, oh, oh, I see it. There's a meow. Oh, there's the fishing meow. Oh, wow. Would you like some meat tubes? 
So that, that's the cat poo coffee guy. There's a bin to run. And this guy is just hanging right on the tray, just like that. What a good life, huh? Hi there. Oh, there's a civet walkthrough. Oh, that's so cool. This habitat is home from free ranging. Oh, sorry, one. Uh, please do not feed, please do not touch, please no food drinks. Okay, double doors. Door will open when the when the head is shut. Okay. That has to become green. Push. Oh, when the one behind us is shut. Um, yeah, no, it only opens when that one closes. There we go. Yeah, no problem. Mm, I can smell them. Where's the civet cat? Hello. Where's the civet? Oh, hi. What the heck was that? Was that a mouse? Whatever that was, that was really fast. Civet, civet. Okay, so there's a common palm civet. There is the small tooth ones. Let's see. All right, let's stick my camera in there and see what this guy's eating. Let's see. Oh, it's all fruits. Oh, we almost got peed on. Can you imagine if I came all the way to Singapore just to get golden showered on by a civet? <laughs> Whoa. This suddenly looks so Jurassic Park. So weird. Why am I feeling that way? Wow. Okay, so let's do the striped hyena. And there it is. I don't understand. Do the hyenas not jump? Because they're just right here. They're just right above my head. How do you guys not come out and just, you know, freaking attack me? There must be like a trench in between us that has like water and stuff. It's gotta be like that. Otherwise I'm like dim sum to these guys. See, the thing is, it's so dark. I thought I was looking at like a deer of some sort just to find that when I'm editing, I'm looking at like a statue of some sort. No, it's been wiping out their population. The tumor stopped someone from eating and they starved to death. No. Again, 
that there wasn't a lot of mosquitoes the whole time. I think a good way to actually kick people out at the end of the day is just to, you know, let the mosquitoes out. What do you think? Okay, walking back into civilization. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because I really did. Lots of meows and animals we saw. Good stuff. So in Singapore, when you take the taxi, they can actually punch in your postal code uh, and it pinpoints the place. Uh, yeah, that's that's right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. wow. It's too cool. And by the way, you got a postal code 100% and thank you. Mm. Take that from 7 Eleven food. And I can't help but to notice that there's a Taiwan's uh, famous papaya milk, supposed to make your breast bigger. <laughs> And Lan Vong Yun Hong Kong style milk tea. Wow, damn. I'm gonna go back with my chick butter chicken biryani from 7 Eleven and uh, gonna wrap up my day. Hope you guys enjoyed today because I did. See you guys later. Now.